Hey guys, I'm Stephen Louis, founder here at Upstream Aquaponics, which is an urban aquaponic farm here in Newmarket. Uh, today we're going to take you on a little tour and we'll show you how to build your very own system at home. We have about 75 tilapia fish here at Upstream Aquaponics and they're an integral part of the system here. Um, we feed them this feed and that turns into an ammonia rich waste that comes off these tanks and goes over to our media beds. From the fish tank, the ammonia rich water gets pumped into these media beds. And in the media beds we have these hydrogen clay pellets. Uh, these are useful to us because, first of all, they're pH neutral, and second of all, they provide a lot of surface area for the bacteria to colonize that turn the ammonia into nitrates and nitrites. From the media beds, the nitrites that get produced get flowed into these grow beds here. Here's where the plants take up that really nutritious nitrite and turn it into vegetable matter. In doing so, they clear out the water for the fish, and that symbiosis is the basis of aquaponics. And now we're going to teach you how to build your very own system at home. This is Joan who's going to help us out on this demo. Joan, tell the folks why it'd be cool to build one of these systems at home. Aquaponics is great for growing your own organic produce at home all year round. And you can even grow your own protein if you grow a fish like tilapia. But you would need a larger tank than the one we have here. So the first thing in your build you, to consider are the three main components you need to build the system. The first one is your aquarium, which is going to house your fish and the water. The second piece is the grow bed, which is going to house your medium and the veggies. And then lastly are the uh, pumps that are going to circulate the water and the air within the system. We've already filled the tank with water. It needs to sit for 24 hours before you can put fish in it. Okay, so now let's get to building. The first thing to do is to drill holes for your input and output of water in your grow bed. So now that we've drilled a hole in it, we need to ream it out a little bit. Usually we'd be using a hole saw, but we don't have one, which is fine. We'll use a regular drill bit and come in and ream it out a little bit. So now we've got the holes we need. We have this one at the bottom where we're going to drain, and we have one on the other side higher up where the water will go into the grow bed. So now we're going to attach our fittings. We have a washer on one end to make sure it doesn't leak. And we have another fitting on the inside here. So I'm going to force this guy in and attach it with this one. There we go. So Steve's put that one in the bottom. We're going to do the same thing at the top. We have this piece that uses the hose and the other piece that just holds it on there. And we just screw them together. The next step is to add the clay pellets for the plants to grow in. And just like in the big system I showed you, the clay pellets here serve the exact same purpose of converting the ammonia into nitrates for your plants. And now we're going to put the whole system together. The first thing we do is take this little basket and cover the drain so the clay pellets don't clog it. There we go. So first thing, just to make a little space for the, for the filter here. And then we're good. We're going to throw it back down, cover it up. Now we need to attach the hoses. We're going to attach, first of all, the drain hose for the bottom. Okay. And we add the hose in the top, the intake hose. So this intake hose is already attached to our pump which we're going to throw in the tank. So we're going to get our water pump in the tank. 
We're also going to put our air pump in the tank. We'll turn both of these guys on. Steve's going to plug in the air to be so the water's ready for the fish. And he's going to put the fish in the tank now. There's one guy. Both of them. Oh, we got both of them. Excellent. So now we're ready to turn on the water circulation. Steve's got the pump going. I've got the drain in here. Because this bin holds quite a bit of water, we're going to add a little bit more water to the system. Then we set the bin on top of the fish tank. And now we're ready to add the plants. We have a couple of options. You can use a commercial plug like this. You can use a basket that you put your own soil into or the strawberry basket that we have here. What's really cool about the hydrogen is it's really easy to work with. It's really easy to make a hole here and place my plug in. And the other thing you need to think about when you're planting your plants it's just the height level. Be conscious of how high the water is going to be, and you want these guys to be within about an inch of that height. And there we are, everything's planted. As a final step, we're going to put the whole system on a shelf so it looks better at home. So we built this already and installed our light. We have a light here so that if you don't have enough natural light at home, you can still grow your plants. So we're going to move the system over to the shelf and show you what a complete build looks like, which we're going to do right now. And there you have it, your very own home aquaponic system. In six weeks, you'll have lush green plants like this. And at the end of all of this, you have a beautiful aquarium and a great garden for you to enjoy year-round in your own home.